Hey ladies, it's Angela. So great to see you all. You know, as we are getting older, I feel like a lot of us still want to look current. And with a lot of these trends that we see coming out every season, we also don't want to walk out the door looking like flipping idiots, wearing things that might not look quite right on a mature woman or that don't make us feel confident because they're now exposing problematic areas that we've developed as we're getting older too. Isn't this getting old thing a total blast? So today we are looking at the top wearable trends, what it is about these you may want to avoid, and what options to consider instead to help you feel more confident in these as a mature woman. So the first fashion trend I've been seeing everywhere are these multi-tier dresses. They're cute, right? They look good on a lot of women. There's a lot of varying lengths out there and lots of fun, vibrant colors. But one thing I feel we need to avoid as mature women wearing these is picking a dress that has any more than three tiers to it. You might be asking why. It starts to add more of a bulky appearance to our hips and our stomach area. We don't wanna walk out the door looking like a marshmallow. And when you have more than three tiers, there is no defined waist area. The tiers just keep coming up and up, which makes us look wider from our stomach area all the way down. This trend may look great on women who do not have a lot of spreading stomach and hip areas, but if you're concerned about that, do not go with any more than two to three tiers. The second biggest wearable trend I have been seeing in so many stores is this striped tank, halter tank, knitted tank. You see it everywhere. A lot of us would love to partake in that trend, but we're like looking at our arms going, yeah, no. The problem for us women over 50 is it's not covering the chiclet area. It's not doing anything to cover up any bit of the crepey or flabby arm area. Some of you have done a great job of working out or maybe you have mad genetics, okay? And your arms are looking stellar even though you're over 50. If that's you, wear those tanks, wear those halter style striped tops. But for a lot of us, what can we do to incorporate this trend, but feel more confident when we're wearing it. So look for something that's got a flutter sleeve to it. Look for something that's got a little bit of a different detail in the sleeve area. Short sleeves are at least covering the chiclet area. It's covering a bit of this flabby arm area and pick something that has a little detail in the sleeve, just to kind of give you that little current feeling that you're looking for. And these kind of tops, will work with multiple pants to create really current looking outfits. I found several on different store websites. Chico's even has a short sleeve option for summertime that looks great. Walmart had the flutter sleeve option that I just bought. Nordstrom has a really nice V-neck option that was in a blue and white stripe. I found a square neck option on Amazon that's got like a little balloon sleeve to it. It kind of cinches. It was really cute. And then yesterday, I just picked up two tops from Marshalls. This is one of them that has the little cinching or ruching in the middle of the sleeve here that creates a puffiness to it. And I picked up a thinner olive and white striped t-shirt as well from Marshalls that almost has like a double flutter sleeve to it. So finding something that's creative, that has a little bit more detail to cover the areas in our arms that we're not real happy about will have us still staying in that current style but have us feeling more confident as well wearing those current wearable trends. The third wearable trend that I've been seeing everywhere this spring are vests. But typically, a lot of them can be very short. 
So because of where they hit at the waist area, they're now kind of bringing attention to the tummy area because they end so much shorter. So now if you're seeing this vest trend and you really want to get on board with that, but you don't want one that is shorter. I saw on Chico's website, they have a longer version of the vest. So at least it's coming down a little bit lower and helping to cover that tummy area. The other idea I have for you is, you know what? Don't wear the vest on its own. Wear a short sleeve shirt under that vest with a pair of jeans and maybe a belt. That would look super cute. And you're giving a little coverage to the chiclet area and maybe covering up a little bit of that flabby upper arm area too. Now, if you don't have this problem, you have a pretty nice looking stomach area at this age. Walmart has a great vest. But the thing is, I ordered some of those vests and what I found is they are so small. <laughs> I ordered an extra small and I got it and it looked like it was for a child. So if you are looking at something budget friendly, like from Walmart, I would recommend going up two sizes from what you would normally order in a top. The next big trend I've been seeing a lot of our utility skirts are making a big splash this season. But the problem for us over 50s is that it may be a little bit too short for you. A lot of them I've been seeing are kind of a mini skirt length. But I will tell you, I bought one from Walmart maybe a month or two ago. I love it. It really is not too short for me, for my preference at all. It was 20 bucks. And it's a really nice quality. So if you want to incorporate a shorter utility skirt, that would give you the most bang for your buck buying it at Walmart. But if those are too short for you and you need something longer, I found two options for you. One was a longer version at Nordstrom. It's still kind of the olive green utility kind of cargo skirt look with a slit in the front, which makes it easier to walk. It adds a little bit more of a modern look to it, but it gives you the length that you may be wanting at the same time. The other utility skirt that I found that's a longer variation was at Banana Republic. They actually have like a kind of beige, maybe a mild khakiness to the coloring. Definitely a longer version if you want to jump on board with a style like that to feel current, but not have it be too short. Now let's talk about the next wearable trend I have been seeing literally everywhere. It is a wide leg cropped jeans. Spanx had a really cute version of this in white. It was $148. I have not tried them, but I'm thinking about ordering them just to see what they look like on me. But, you know, because summer is coming, people are thinking about shortening up the length of their pants just to keep cool. Let me just kind of give you a couple of things to think about when you are looking at wide leg crop pants. Number one, since we're going in the heat of summer, you may want to think about lightening up on the denim thickness. You want something that's a little lighter or think about a cotton or a linen. That's going to be way more breathable even in the hot weather. Now Walmart has a wide leg crop version that I believe is in cotton. They look really cute. I'm thinking about ordering those. And there was also a neutral kind of beige version by Lee that looked like a great option as well. Now a wide leg crop version will look fine on somebody who is a bit taller. But what do we do if you're petite? When you're petite, anything that ends up higher on your leg is going to make your legs look shorter. And I'm not sure any of you want that. So what would I recommend if you are in that predicament? You could either go with a pair of light flowy palazzo pants in either linen or cotton. You could either go with a pair of straight leg or flare leg pants or jeans. And what you want to kind of look at is, are they covering to about the heel? Because if you cover full length of your leg down to the heel area, it is going to make you appear taller, no matter how short you are. Or you could go with an ankle length pant. Those options would be much better for you if you're a petite than having a wide leg cropped 
uh, having a capri, even having a Bermuda short, those will all shorten up the look of your legs. The last trend I have been seeing all over the place are these textured knitted tops. They remind you of a crocheted look, but not quite. Something in between a lace and a crocheted top look. So rather than opting for a tank top form in a top like this, think about a short sleeve, think about a cardigan style, or maybe even a poncho style that has that textured look to it. Nordstrom had some really good short sleeve options. So did JB and me, which is that little boutique store in Holland, Michigan, I've told you about. Chico's had a really nice poncho style as well as a tank option. And I saw several different textured knits at Marshall's as well. But for me, I love the knit look of them, but they were cropped. I'm like not doing cropped, you know, at our ages, but you can still enjoy wearing this trend this summer by just taking a look at varying the sleeve length that makes sense for you. Now, if you are looking for unique fashion pieces that are gonna totally help to elevate your style this year, Watch this video next right here. Until next time, my friends, stay beautiful on the inside and out.